This video is brought to you by Paperlike. Hooray, hurrah, hallelujah. iPad OS 17 is now available for your iPad, not in public beta or developer beta form. It is available today, Monday, September 18th for you to download. And in this video, I wanna go over the most important features real quick that you should be aware of. Um, I'm not a super in-depth person when it comes to the software. However, I do know a guy you should watch if you are, Christopher Lawley. He's posting a phenomenal in-depth iPadOS walkthrough for you today. Um, but in this video, again, I'm just giving you the meat and potatoes. If you're that kind of person like me, you have come to the right place. Also too, I'm gonna do my best to not sort of overlap iOS 17 features because some of them are redundant. The new features in iOS 17, most if not all of them make uh, their way into you know iPadOS because after all they are um, related operators systems. Feature number one I want to talk about, you can now customize your lock screen just like you could with the iPhone with iOS 16. Um, you can customize what the date says. Instead, you can put the weather conditions, other information, you know, widget type stuff. You can change the font of your clock, which I really love. I love a more serify font, if that's um, the way to say it. You can change the boldness, the color. I do like to keep it white. Um, and then you can actually add widgets to your lock screen now, which is very nice. So I can add weather. I can add um, you know, uh, home uh, information. I can also add battery information if I can find that somewhere. Batteries, so I can see the status on that. Um, what else here? I can add notes. I can add Safari lists or whatever, reading lists, more than that. So that's really great. And it just lives on your lock screen like so, real low key, real bare bones. Love to see this. It makes the iPad match the rest of the ecosystem, or at least the iPhone. And yeah, it's a nice little quality of life feature. But beyond the lock screen though, getting to the home screen, feature number two that I wanna talk about are interactive widgets. This is a brand new feature with iPadOS 17 and also iOS 17. And the only reason I bring it up here is because I think the iPad is really made for widgets specifically on the home screen here. Um, with the 12.9 inch especially, um, you can see all these widgets and up until now, that's all you could really do, just sort of see and glance information with the exception of interacting with like Siri app suggestions and stuff like that. Um, of course, you could sort of launch into apps as well. Um, but now with some of them, you can actually interact with them on the home screen without leaving this environment. And the one that I have the demo right now is a HomeKit one. I got HomeKit outlets to control my lights. I had HomeKit bulbs, but they were finicky. Um, I like to have my warm lights. They're just like brighter and stuff, but I didn't want to lose like the home kit toggle. So I equipped my apartment with a bunch of these so I can control them in my living room and stuff. But I have one in my office that I can control. It's a little sign my friend gave me for my birthday and it says slay. So I can turn that on and I can turn that off, which is really fun. So I can do that right on here again without leaving the home screen environment, which is super cool. And there are gonna be other widgets like that as well, you know, first party and also third party from other developers. All right, next up, I wanna talk about a quality of life improvement in the Notes app. And this is pretty huge if you love the Notes app UI and Apple's pencil menu, whatever, etc. cetera. Um, this was a feature formerly only available with third party apps like Notability and GoodNotes. You can now drag in or embed PDFs directly into a note of your choice here. So I have files open here. I can drag in an old PDF from college um, and I can immediately start marking it up. So it has its own little environment here you can view, just sort of swipe over. Very nice view here. It's really unobtrusive. So you can continue to have your note down here and just you know annotate or mark it up or whatever. And then also have a separate environment to mark up your PDF. So I can you know underline stuff here and pretend like I actually remember what I learned in business school. I can you know write some stuff over here like hello, accounting etc. you know. Um, so this is wonderful. Again, if you don't want to buy a third party app, if you prefer the notes app, you can now directly drag the PDF in. You can also very easily remove it as well or rename it or whatever. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy this. I want to use the notes app more. So the fact that I can just drag something in real quick, maybe I'm signing a document. Maybe I just want to mark something up, underline stuff, you know, for comprehension, whatever. Now that I can do it in the notes app, I really love that. And it's all synced up with my iCloud and stuff. So again, if you have reason to use the notes app, you know, you, it has even more capability now, um, which is wonderful. And also too, for all of you in college, the iPad is a wonderful tool to employ. I hated college. I'm so happy I'm done with it. But this device over the years made my life or my college life a whole lot more tolerable. Um, and you should also pair it with a paper-like screen protector. This thing is absolutely wonderful. It retains the quality of your screen, especially with the most recent generation 2.1 that they're offering while giving you this wonderful paper-like texture. It's in the name here. I always grew up using pen and paper um, and I miss that a lot and I still use it. But the fact 
that I get the same experience here makes the you know the writing experience so much more intuitive. Um, they also offer these wonderful pencil grips. As you can see here, um, it goes over the Apple Pencil. It makes it easier to grip, so you know your writing is a lot more comfortable. They also offer these lovely personal planners. This is my favorite right here. It's a little to-do list, top priorities, little uh, sheet. Um, I usually do this on paper and in Notion, so I'm looking to do more handwriting here. And it's best to keep a digital record here so I can write a to-do list, you know, like get groceries, or if I have a priority, I can say like finish, you know, editing or something like that. If I have a schedule at a given time, I can say go, you know, visit uh, mom or something like that. So um, really wonderful view here. They're available in PDF. You can now use them in the Notes app too. I just happened to open this in Notability here. Notes is so much nicer for that, by the way. Um, so yeah, um, again, check out their products, the paper like screen protector, their planners, and of course their pencil grip. You're not gonna regret it. Link in the description. Next up though, let's talk about another majorly important feature with iPad OS 17. And I did this part of the demo in split screen, which is still a wonderful viable way to use your iPad. But um, this feature has to do with stage manager, which of course has to do with this windowed view that you now get on the iPad and also externally if you connect to a display if your iPad supports that M1 and up. Um, so this experience has been controversial. It was really nice to see last year. We waited for it, but it was very limited and choppy and buggy and there were a lot of problems. It has gotten a whole lot better though. Is it perfect? No. Is it Mac level? No. But now you can really resize your windows the way you want them. So you can look at the little indicator where you can resize it and I can make this window pretty much any size I want it to be so they're sort of like next to each other or of course I can sort of stretch this window over here so I can kind of switch in between them just like you would on a Mac but it's a little more orderly. I do like it though. It, it stays true to the iPad but again you get so much more flexibility here and it's really snappy too. Before this was not possible. You get really weird orientations and just sort of like er, er, just jerkiness but this is really smooth and I can imagine a lot of development and time and love and TLC went into this. So, um, you know, great on Apple's developing team or iPadOS development team for doing this. It looks really well done, even in a public beta form. Um, although the version I'm using is pretty much final, you know, like gold master release software. So um, yeah, I'm not surprised it's, you know, operating so well, but yeah, this is wonderful on iPad and also externally, it makes the experience of Stage Manager so much more worthwhile. And um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna be using this more uh, in the future now that it's actually usable. And while we're on the topic of Stage Manager, another feature I wanna bring up is third party webcam support. When you're connected to a display, you know, if your iPad supports external display Stage Manager, you can now use another webcam, whether it's the built-in studio display camera or like an Opal C1 like I have, shout out to them, great webcam or a Logitech one, whatever you got, you can now use it in you know the display connected mode instead of having it staring up at your face or up your nose or whatever. I'm really happy to see that. That's a nice quality of life improvement. I mean, I think it should have happened before, but now we have it, great. It makes the experience a lot more cohesive and Mac-like, but still distinctly iPad. Um, but the last feature I will bring up in this video, because again, I don't want to be too redundant with iOS 17, and I want this to be brief for you, is the health app here. I, in the past year, have gotten a little more serious about my fitness. I gotta stay true to it, you know, stick to a schedule even though I'm like working a lot. Um, but I can see all of my health data now in a nice big view here, especially full screen. Um, and yeah, it's nice to see my steps, you know, how much I walk in a day, the noise that I'm, you know, it's experiencing. My heart rate is important, I monitor that. I'm a pretty hyper person, I wanna make sure my heart rate is healthy. I've seen it fluctuate over time and with experience, it's really interesting. Um, but the fact that I can see all this information in a blown up view is very, very nice with a little sidebar, you know, very iPad-like, um, unlike the sort of more limited view that you get with your iPhone. So it's a nice app to have on here, especially if you are serious about your health. And that is about it. I hope I kept this brief. iPad OS 17 is a great update. Um, I'm definitely looking forward for more though. I believe in the iPad as a product and I think it could be better. I'm gonna be talking about that more in the future, hardware wise and software wise, but nonetheless, I am thrilled to still use it. And um, it's a refreshing product nonetheless. Again, I just, I just am hoping that it becomes an even better product soon. Um, in many different ways. Check out Chris Lawley's in-depth walkthrough, by the way, he goes through every little nook and cranny ever. And also uh, check out my link to Paperlick in the video description. Again, you will not regret it. And as always, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one.